All right, guys, haven't done uh, Mopar, uh, too many Mopars in a while, but uh, here's this right here. So this ad popped up four days ago in Ottawa, Canada. Ottawa, Ontario, I should say. 1970 Dodge Dart for 9500 bucks. Now, I think this is a package deal. This car comes with another car, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, the person... Uh, they got two cars here, they both have titles, and it just says $9,500. So this one right here is a, uh, <clears throat> well they're both 1970 actually. This one's apparently a 1970 H code, plum crazy, dart swinger project car. It's got a tag and build sheet for it. And he's got owner, or he or she has ownership for uh, both cars. Um, that this one, this purple one here has got, it's got some sheet metal with it, uh, it's got fenders and, uh, it's got a floor, uh, replacement floor for it as well. Um, looks like it's got most of the interior and stuff there. Uh, it's got new floor pan, quarter panels, lots of parts, too much to list. So, I'm assuming that would be a, uh, I guess it would be a 340 car. Uh, but regardless, and still, it's a 70 Dart. It's a nice car. Definitely worth uh, fixing up. I mean, the Mopars, uh, they're, uh, they can be worth a lot. I mean, you could go a lot of different ways with this car. I mean, I would probably do like a, like I said, like a 340. Try to get a numbers, close to numbers matching 340 small block for it. Drop that in there and whatever uh, the build sheet uh he does get the build sheet posted. I'll let you I'll let you guys look at it because I am no Mopar expert, that's for sure. So I'll let you guys look at the build sheet, and if there's any experts out there that want to decode it and throw it down in the comments or something and let me know, it's uh, that's fine too. But yeah, he's got a whack of parts for this thing. Um, yeah, there's the floor there, brand new floor. Got the center section for the back part of the floor it looks like um yeah it looks like he's got quite a bit um there's all the emblems there dirt swinger i mean if it, if it is 9500 bucks for both cars not a bad package really they're both two doors too so obviously here's the here's the other one even this car too if you were to uh, clean it up and throw a small block in it there another 340 car dart another start swinger Let's get her all redone that color again um, Speak a lot this would be good for uh, some good YouTube content right here if you could afford it This car would be a good pressure wash video right there <laughs> It's got all the scuzz on the friggin body and the hood there Yeah not bad paint on it though, like it's pretty straight, I'll say that much. Uh, the panels don't look too shabby, just a little bit of burnt rust on the roof. I wonder if that was a southern car. Usually most southern cars would be all burnt on the roof. Um, I don't really see too much rust on this thing either. Uh, so yeah, here's the purple one there, plum greasy. That would be a sharp car to redo. All in that color again. I figured that would look gorgeous, actually. All right, here's the build sheet. I'll just put the camera up so you guys can read. It. Hopefully, you can read it anyway. See. Yeah, I just want to freeze frame or something on that and. I'm assuming it's a 340 car anyway. I would I would guess, but hopefully that was good enough for you guys to look at. Yeah, I mean, not too bad really if it's a package deal, but uh, who knows what they? I did send the person a message, but they didn't really respond. They just looked at the message, and that was about it. I mean, I tried to. Like it doesn't really state that in the ad though, but uh, 1970 H code Plum Crazy's Dirt Swinger Project Car Tag and Build Sheet, then period, and then he's got ownership 
ownerships for both cars. So, and it just stops there. And, um, yeah, not really the best description in the world. Um, I don't know if you're going to put up these two cars for sale. Either say it's a package deal or what, you know what I mean? So, I mean, for all I know, it could be just this car for 9500 bucks and all the parts. I mean, that price would even probably make sense too for Mopar. Because they're just skyrocketing in price, so... I don't know. But yeah, even the, I mean, the interior is not too bad on this, uh, this, uh, yellowish colored dirt here. It doesn't really look like it's overly that rusted. I mean, you can't see the floors, obviously, but the, the rockers here don't look too bad, actually. Even the lower quarters there, I mean, not bad. Again, I think this is like a car from down south. Or something maybe it's not doing any good sitting right there in the grass though I'll say that much um, yeah I mean you could if the floors were solid in this thing you could just literally uh, you know try and put her back together and uh, get their seat recovered and uh, the interior just looks like it needs a good scrub to be honest the dash is all kind of cracked or rat shit there but uh, I'm sure you could get a dash pad for it I mean, even the steering wheel looks pretty good on it but yeah, I don't know, like overall this car doesn't really look too bad. A little bit of rust in here, but that could be just surface rust, it looks like, maybe. And the valance panel might be a little uh, buggered up down here, but uh, the bumper's a little bit uh, twisted, but uh, you could probably straighten that out. It's got some ratchet straps or something like that. Uh, this would be a good, uh, rat like again, a ratty muscle car or something like that, right? Uh, yeah, not bad at all. Slap a fender on there, put a light back in it, and uh, drop another, uh, this one you could just, I mean, you could go any which way, I mean, you wouldn't have to put a 340 in it, you could probably put like a 360 or something like that in it, or, uh, who knows, right, uh, any motor you wanted to, really, um, don't think I would ever, if I were to get a car like this, I don't think I would put a big block in it, I just, uh, you know, the big block darts, they have their place on the drag strip, um, I kind of look at putting a big block in these things, it, you know, it's just a, like for a street car, I feel like it would just disrupt the power to weight ratio on one of these, maybe. Um, I just think these cars here would be better suited for a small block. Um, yeah, do like a 450 horse small block or something like that. Uh, that's, that's my take on that. I mean, all the... Well, I mean, unless you did like a 383 or something like that, that wouldn't be too bad, I guess. But you're still in, I mean, you're still in big block territory, but uh, even a 383 wouldn't really uh, disrupt too much. But uh, you had those uh, darts back in the day, like the Mr. Norm Dodge darts. I think they had, uh, there might have been some of them that had 440s, actually. And they were, uh, I think some of them were just... Uh, well, I wouldn't say they're street cars, but mostly drag cars, pretty much. But, uh, what, what was the, I think the stock, I think you could get a big block in these things. Uh, there was the Dart GTS. Maybe it was the Dart GTS Mr. Norm made that had the 383 in it. I can't remember exactly. I used to keep on top of that stuff. I remember the Dart GTSs. I just couldn't remember if they were three, 383s or 440s in those. I think there were 383s, I want to say, but but then there was the the super stock factory uh, darts that had the Hemis in them. They only made 50 of those. I'm pretty sure they were all made in white, I believe. But yeah, they had the Hemi in them, the warning tags on them and all that jazz, but uh, and uh, I think the I don't know if they made a I think they were just all, the Hemi darts were just all Hemi darts. I don't know if there was any uh, uh, 440s or not, but uh, yeah, not a bad little car, really. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you later.